rapid development of uh, database applications using Apex. <coughs> First, I will uh, introduce uh, why I want to <coughs> uh, to write uh, this kind of paper and uh, uh, also the students' expectation for database course and. Uh, <coughs> Uh, I will uh, <coughs> present a password solution for the student expectation uh, and uh, the solution uh, is a uh, Apex uh, by Oracle and uh, finally I will get the conclusion. <coughs> so database is a major part of uh, information systems uh, and more and more information devices are adapted and used. It is important uh, to store and access the information on the device and <coughs> such information is managed by information systems. As a result, most universities uh, in the world have courses for database. So based on uh, internet search on the curriculum of the Department of Computer Engineering in Korea, most departments have two database courses. One is for theory and the other is for practice or database program. So this is the table. <coughs> database related courses in Korean universities as of uh, August of uh, 2019. <coughs> so uh, the number of universities are having one database course is five. And uh, the number of universities having two database courses is nine. And the number of universities having three database courses uh, is one. Uh, the total number of universities investigated is 15. So this is, uh, these are the list of the universities that I uh, searched. Uh, but this, uh, uh, the courses uh, include the traditional database courses like database, database programming, etc. Not including recent trends in data related courses like big data, uh, data science, etc. <coughs> And uh, uh, let me uh, say a little about uh, SQL. SQL is the standard structuring uh, query language. As for database for any course, SQL based uh, curriculum is uh, very common because SQL, SQL is a uh, standard language for relational databases. And most operational databases in the world are based on relational databases. But SQL is a very large language and it becomes more complex as new versions are adapted. Uh, for example, the length of ISO SQL 2011 standard document uh, <coughs> uh, the first part, part one, uh, is uh, explained the uh, SQL framework uh, it consists of 90 pages and uh, uh, it consists of uh, 14 parts so from this vector, you can see the enormous complexity of the ranges. As a result, most database courses may cover SQL part only, or cover important or mostly used part only. <coughs> uh, nowadays, we are uh, very concerned with user interfaces, especially with graphic user interfaces, or GUI, uh, in applications due to wide availability of smart devices. But it is not easy to cover both subject GUI and database programming in one course. But <coughs> uh, students' uh, expectation uh, is uh, somewhat high, uh, and uh, let's see the database curriculum also. So uh, students' expectation is more oriented to good user interfaces due to the wide availability of smart devices, even though of course, covers uh, database programming. Uh, but as a database educator, we want uh, uh, for students to learn more on database technology because we know that the complexity of it. Yeah. For example, according to curricular guidelines for underway theory program in computer science by ACM and I2B, Computer Science, Computer Society, which was announced in December 2013. The database curriculum does not cover GUI and subject. Uh, as a result, the database programming course may not be a satisfactory course for students because most subjects are difficult to be covered by one course. 
<coughs> so uh, customer solution, uh, I suggest this one. A rapid database application development tool that have graphical ability may help both the learners as well as the educators. And it means very little effort to build the GUI line course. Uh, we need a related tables or database programming only, which are covered by the conventional database course. And uh, there is a, a tool called Apex. Apex means Application Express uh, from Oracle. So uh, <coughs> let's see a little about more about uh, the Apex. Uh, <coughs> uh, if we use uh, uh, Apex, we can develop database applications that have web-based interfaces uh, very rapidly and effortlessly, or with very little effort. And it is developed by Oracle, and uh, uh, the company is a leading database company, and comes with Oracle database management system or DBMS, starting with Oracle 11G. So when we install Oracle DBMS version 11G or 12C, it is installed by Depot as part of the installation process. Moreover, we can install Oracle DBMS or Oracle 11G or 12C Express Edition, which is free. That is a good point. Apex is also installed by Depot. <laughs> Uh, as you know, Oracle is the number one DBMS in popularity in the world uh, by uh, dbengines.com and uh, Oracle DBMS can be used to maintain small to very large databases up to 8 petabyte in Oracle 10G. Note that this uh, <coughs> uh, unit, one petabyte is a uh, uh, 1024 petabyte and 1 petabyte is 1024 terabyte and 1 terabyte is 1024 gigabyte. So, uh, very large, we can build a very large uh, database uh, with Oracle. So, uh, <coughs> it's a good tool for practice because students can learn the concept of how large the databases can be operational. And uh, <coughs> let's see the Oracle <coughs> Express Edition. Oracle Express Edition is good for users so whose database is not so big. In other words, Oracle Express Edition can store up to 11 gigabyte of user data and use up to 1 gigabyte of memory and use only one CPU. So that it is good to develop early stage of the database of some organizations where not much data is stored. And it's good, you know, for educational purpose. Students. So Apex can be used to build web applications uh, they can be uh, on the right Oracle database without web coding. So database developers may use it to build web-based user interfaces or database application team. And uh, uh, these are some other tools to build the GUI for database applications. For example, we may use PHP or JSP or HTML and JavaScript. Uh, but these are separate, uh, we need separate courses, uh, especially for web server program. And there is a, a tool called Swim for Java. Uh, this is a standard GUI building tool for Java language. And also you just need a separate course <coughs> because of the complexity of the Java language. And uh, <coughs> the format report in MS Access. Uh, this is nice, widely accepted DBMS in the world. Uh, it has a good GUI and convenient database application development capability, but limited capability, only one person input. So, and uh, also good for small databases. So, uh, let's see the steps to build a uh, database application using APS. The first, uh, we, we need uh, <coughs> to create the database. Uh, we need tables and views that can be matched to forms and uh, also data in the tables and the views for reporting. The second uh, step is uh, building of web application to the Apex. So, <coughs> this, the first step is usually uh, <coughs> covered by the conventional uh, database course. So uh, let's see some example database uh, in HR account. Uh, this HR account is uh, uh, 
install automatically when you, when you install the Oracle uh, Express Edition. So uh, there are some example uh, tables. <coughs> so these are the tables. So uh, steps to build the web application using Apex. We first create WordPress uh, space and uh, the as user. And the second, uh, we enter application information. Then we can, we can get the web page from the application. So uh, when we execute the uh, Oracle Database uh, Express Edition, uh, we can uh, see uh, this kind of uh, web page. Uh, at this uh, uh, web page, we can see the Application Express. This is a button for, to execute the uh, Apex. Uh, then we can create workspace and the database user. Uh, we, we should uh, log in as a system. Then make a workspace and a related account in the web page. Uh, for our example, we use the existing HR account to use all the tables. So this is uh, the related uh, uh, web page. <coughs> uh, then uh, we can enter application information after login. We can see the main page of our application express after login as HR. Uh, this is the main page. So we can choose application builder here. Uh, already, application builder is chosen, as you see in this, in, in this red uh, <coughs> words. Uh, or main, here is, uh, we have the application uh, <coughs> builder menu uh, to create uh, our own applications. Uh, then we can choose uh, uh, manage in the sequence, create, then database, then from scratch. <coughs> uh, in, in this uh, uh, <coughs> sequence, uh, we can uh, uh, make uh, the applications. Then we can enter the application name and unique ID, application ID as you see here. Uh, application name here, this, these are the default. Uh, values uh, given by the system. Or we can change uh, the values. After that, uh, we can uh, select a schema. Schema means uh, the user account. <coughs> uh, next step is to use uh, uh, to choose uh, uh, okay, so, uh, here. Uh, you see the schema here, HR. Uh, that is the username also. <coughs> The next step is uh, to choose uh, application type. Uh, there are seven different application types uh, from blank uh, to chart. So uh, for our example, we, we may choose a uh, report and form. Uh, so we choose a uh, report and form uh, that can uh, display data in a table or view uh, in table and the form and the form here. Then we can choose tables or views that we want to work. After confirmation, we can run the application. So this is uh, the result. <coughs> so it's very convenient. So uh, <coughs> we didn't program this web page. Just we uh, click <coughs> our option in the in these previous steps. Based on the uh, tables, uh, the Apex uh, automatically generate uh, this kind of. Uh, <coughs> So if you click the pass like this icon uh, at the left of each row, uh, we can edit the corresponding record. So if we click for this, for example, this icon here, uh, we can uh, see this page. So we, we, we can uh, modify the uh, existing uh, contents or existing data. Uh, let's see the, how we can generate a report. <coughs> So we can choose a create button. There is just a sub menu for the application builder menu here. Uh, if we click this uh, <coughs> menu, well, we can see uh, the create button. Then we can choose a certain different types of application like uh, black page, multiple black page, etc. Uh, yeah. So for our example, we may choose this report menu. 
So after that, uh, we choose a uh, uh, crash report of uh, four different report types. Uh, these are the different report types. Uh, so <coughs> we choose uh, this crash report. So uh, then we may enter appropriate information for SQL. This uh, is a simple SQL statement that we want to uh, produce as a report. So the selector asterisk from employees. Uh, employees the table name. So uh, we can see this kind of report. If there are some confirmation steps, we can see the result of our report. So very simple. So uh, because the application we generated uh, web pages, so we can execute the web pages in other web pages using anchor tab in HTML case purpose. So uh, this is the anchor tab. So this is the uh, <coughs> address of the web pages. So oh, conversions. So creating uh, database applications requires us a lot of work to do. Uh, we need uh, to create the databases. And uh, we also need to develop rapid user interfaces and uh, application logic uh, for database applications. As you read, developing database applications needs comprehension skills in computer science and demand a lot of work to do. So it's hard to cover both subjects in one curriculum because of the complexity of database language as well as well as the database design issues. In this sense, a rapid database application development tools can help related personnel a lot because we can focus on database part more for students' education. In this paper, the functionality of one of the uh, rapid database application tools called APEX is uh, investigated for our purpose. As a conclusion, it is worthwhile to adapt as a part of database application. Additional point of APEX is that it is installed automatically when we install Oracle 11G or 12C Express Edition. That is pretty available so that no additional burden for the world is needed.